Here is a wonderful creature which shines with the light it itself produces. This is another sea creature that swims around emitting light. Nobody knows what these lights signify. These creatures are all jellyfish. Their bodies are soft and flaccid. None of them possess reason or intelligence. Nor do they know how the light in their bodies is formed. It is completely irrational to think that such complex creatures possessing such delicate systems could have come into being by chance. There is no doubt that these creatures were created to a special design. That is why this light show from hundreds of meters beneath the surface of the sea reveals to us God's infinite might and artistry. He creates uniquely. Everything on the earth and in the oceans belongs to Him, and He possesses infinite wisdom and knowledge. In a verse it is said, He is Allah, the Creator, the Maker, the giver of form. To him belong the most beautiful names. Everything in the heavens and earth glorifies him. He is the Almighty, the All-Wise. Everybody has seen the tiny creature known as the spider many times in his life. Perhaps in the house, out in the countryside, or in the garden. This tiny creature attracts very few people's serious attention, yet it is one of the perfect manifestations of Allah's art of creation. We shall have to examine the spider a little closer in order to see this. The first thing that comes to mind when one thinks about spiders are their webs. These webs are marvels of design. A spider's web contains its own architectural blueprint and the engineering calculations to accompany it. If we enlarge the spider to the size of a human being, the web it weaves would be around 150 meters high. That is the same height as a 50-story skyscraper. If a spider were so large as to be capable of making a 50-meter wide web, the web would be strong enough to stop even a jumbo jet. So, how do spiders weave webs with these properties? In order to succeed, the spider first needs to draw up a blueprint, just like an architect. That is because an architectural structure of such size and strength is impossible without a blueprint. After the blueprint has been ready, the spider needs to calculate what loads will be placed on what areas of the web, just like a construction engineer. Otherwise, the web would just collapse. When one considers how the spider weaves its web, a real miracle emerges.
The spider first casts a silk it has spun into the air, and air currents then carry it to a fixed point where it can stick. Then the construction work begins. It can take an hour or more to weave a web. You are now watching the process speeded up by a factor of 60. The spider first pulls strong, tense threads from the center outwards, thus preparing the skeleton of the web. It then uses a loose and sticky thread to complete links from the outside in. And now the trap is ready. The thread the spider uses is just as much a miracle as the web itself. Spider's silk is five times stronger than a steel thread of the same thickness. It has a tensile force of 150,000 kilograms per square meter. If a rope 30 centimeters in diameter were made out of spider silk, it could bear the weight of 150 cars. Scientists took spider silk as a model when producing the substance known as Kevlar, which is used in the production of bulletproof jackets. A bullet traveling at 150 meters a second can tear apart most things with which it comes into contact, but not fabric made from Kevlar. Spider silk, however, is ten times stronger than Kevlar. It is also thinner than human hair, lighter than cotton, and stronger than steel, and is recognized as the strongest material in the world. Steel, which is one of the strongest materials available to man, is produced in heavy industrial facilities using iron in furnaces at temperatures of thousands of degrees. It is specially designed to be highly resistant and is used in wide structures, tall buildings and to build bridges. The spider produces a material that is five times stronger than steel, yet it possesses neither furnaces nor technology. It is a tiny creature with no intellectual ability. It is a great miracle that a tiny creature like that should produce a thread tougher than steel and erect structures using this thread in the same way as architects and engineers do. People generally think of spiders as creatures that use webs to catch their prey. This species, called Dinopis, however, does not wait for the prey to get caught in the web, but constructs a moving trap. It produces special threads by making 200 brush strokes a minute. It then adds the threads to each other in an intelligent plan. Then the deadly trap is ready. <laughs> 